earlier today, I tried applying topical raloxifene in order to combat um, gyno symptoms that I'm experiencing. I actually gave myself gyno symptoms on purpose. Uh, I'm on 250 test. I added 200 IU of HCG today and five milligrams of NPP. Now I know that the NPP is going to <clears throat> really make the estrogen or the testosterone aromatize into estrogen far quicker than just doing the testosterone alone. So um, yeah, I did it on purpose and now the left nipple, it's puffy, it's tender, the shape feels a bit more squished out to the side here. <clears throat> Don't know if you can see, it's very poor lighting. It's nighttime lighting guys, it's nighttime. So um, yeah, you can't really see. <clears throat> anyway. I am experiencing some tenderness, uh, a little bit of itchiness earlier today, and I, it just feels like temperature feels different. Um, <clears throat> I'm also experiencing some like hot kind of flashes, which may be from raloxifene, maybe from uh, the estrogen being so high. So basically, what I'm going to do is take 30 milligrams of raloxifene powder that I just bought from a manufacturer in China. Uh, it was labeled with an R, the bag, and um, I'm gonna take it and see if it actually has an effect compared to the topical raloxifene, which I can't feel anything from it. So I'm gonna give it a go and um, wish me luck. I hope there's no bad side effects to this chemical I'm about to consume. Let's try it out, guys. In fact, you know what? I'm going to reduce this. I'm going to take more out because the scales I used aren't that accurate. And it's a bit idiotic to just ingest a powder that you got from China. Just straight up. So, here we go. I'm going to take half of it out. Okay. That's another chunk out. So let's see how this goes. Bottoms up. Hmm. Okay. I will report back later and we'll see if the nipples are less sensitive tomorrow. We're going to see how it's all playing out. So yeah, let's see. Today we have a very special guest. It's my dog, Kutch. Kutch, sit. Good girl, stay. 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 Take it. Good girl. She's a good girl. So today we've got a very important topic. Well, it's the second part. It's the conclusion of our Eloxaphine ingestion video. That's my dog chewing on her rawhide. Please ignore the noise. I'm going to talk over it. So <clears throat> last time we spoke, I was, I cons well, I had a 0.3. <sighs> last time we talked, I had a capsule of raloxifene powder. I weighed it out to 0.3 milligrams with scales that aren't very accurate. Um, basically, I tipped a bit out onto a piece of paper before I consumed it, about half of it from visually, and um, then I consumed the raloxifene, and then this is my report of what, hap what happened. I have made notes, so um, yeah, let's read through it. So that was an idiotic thing to do. Firstly, before I get into the notes, I bought a bag of white powder from a factory in China, right? and with no quality control, no assurance that the chemicals in it were the chemicals that they were declared to be, 
namely raloxifene, the anti, I think it's a breast cancer drug used for treating gynecomastia, clamastia. So basically, yeah, I was a fucking idiot. I didn't titrate up the dose like you're meant to, right? I don't know why I threw caution to the wind. <clears throat> that piece that I tipped out, I thought to myself, mm -hmm, there's not that much here anyway. Like, look, 0.3 grams, 0.03 grams, basically, um, is half that of the tablet version of it, which is prescribed to people. So like 0.3 milligrams, whatever the, whatever it is, I don't know how many, 30 milligrams, that's the quantity, or 0.0, three grams I think so that quantity right that's half of a tablet which is prescribed it should be fine with zero side effects but again I'm just buying a powder from China and randomly like it's crazy I've never done this before and then I'm an idiot and I didn't titrate up the dose and I just had the whole piece so like after the camera stopped filming I just dabbed it and just ate it I'm, I'm such an idiot. So I want to report my side effects from the experiment. Um, it, it was interesting. Okay, so the ingestion side effects. Intracranial pressure increase. I mean, that's not good. You never really want that. It's not desirable. You know, strokes and that type of thing. Blood pressure increase to 165 over 100. Now... That's like pretty high. Um, yeah, it's not where you want to be. Um, heart rate at 100 BPM. Then we've got feelings of being unwell. Pressure in my face, nose, sinuses, and ears. Like, yeah, it felt weird. It felt, felt really strange, and it was unsettling with the uncertainty of the powder itself. Um, heart palpitations. Um, but again, I was taking Cialis. I take Cialis every day. Um, and uh, that maybe was interacting with it, maybe. Or it could just be the fucking compound itself. Um, whatever it is that I've been using. Um, it had a really sudden, like, come-up effect off it. Which was pretty... Uh, it was pretty worrying. And, um, yeah. Like, again... If you're ever doing anything like this, which you should never, ever do, um, but like, just titrate up the dose. Try a tiny bit and then try a little bit more and a little bit more until so you get something where you can feel an effect from it. And then tread cautiously until you get the desired effect. You know what I mean? But it's like, that's what I will do next time. That's a, that's a very sensible way of doing it. Um, okay, then... Um, that was at 0. Point, so that was what I guess was 0. 0.3 milligrams. Then another time um, I did less than that. And um, basically I made some quick notes. Uh, it was very, very quick. Like I, I dictated them into my phone as I was like getting stuff done. Um, feel unwell, do not like. <laughs> Front of chest, heart tingly, feel sick, feels like MDMA. In the face and head. <laughs> Feels bad. Not really bad, but bad. But the question is, does it work? And the answer is, fuck yeah, mate. Like, my um, gyno, like, lumps. They were, like, really, like, wizened down. The nipples were, like, tight. You know, none of this puffy nip bullshit. Just, like, tight. Like a man's nipple. Like it's meant to be. Um, it was really good. Like those side effects were really good. They lasted for about 24 hours or so. <clears throat> and um, yeah, it's like, it definitely does the job. The question is, I don't know, tamoxifen didn't feel anything like that. So when you're taking tamoxifen, um, you don't have like, a sudden like feeling of like like you're coming up off MDMA but it's like a, a bad a bad type of MDMA you know um, you don't have a feeling like that whatsoever you know maybe you get an effect from having reduced estrogen and you get like all the other bad side effects like you know thickening of the blood and like um, you know when your estrogen receptors blocked then 
that has mood effects and all that type of stuff, I found personally. So tamoxifen didn't feel anything like that. And I was just expecting it to be like tamoxifen, but no, this was felt like something else. So if anybody watches in the comments, like, and they have any experience with raloxifene and what it feels like, please could you tell me if you think this compound is raloxifene, but it maybe it's got some other like mystery mystery chemicals in it as well because I mean it had the effect at the estrogen receptor it did a really really good job of like wizening up the nipple but it felt like whew, really bad and even the second time when it was definitely under 0.3 gram 0.3 milligrams 30 milligrams <laughs> 0.03 grams the second time when it was definitely under that um it still was unpleasant enough for me to make notes on it whilst I was getting other stuff done, you know? And it was like, yeah, it worked, but I don't know if it's meant to feel like that. I'm gonna do some more research into what other people say it feels like to use Riloxifene. Typically, I guess it'll be women battling cancer. And um, yeah, that's my review of the oral ingestion of Riloxifene. So transdermal raloxifene, does it work? Yes, it works a little bit. It doesn't work as good as oral. It works nowhere near as good as oral, but also I didn't notice anywhere near the side effects that I experienced from taking it orally. Um, when you apply it onto the skin, you're applying it in like quite a significant uh, quantity um, just to get any noticeable effect. Uh, I use DSMO, which is a solvent from the paper making industry. What a random thing. And it's very good at penetrating the skin. It gets right through the skin and it, apparently it drags other molecules that are around with it. So I used that as the majority of the vehicle. And then I used um, ethanol for the rest of the vehicle. It worked a little bit. And I did notice a reduction in sensitivity and the size of the glandular lump. That, that actually like shrunk up a bit because it was inflamed at the time. And um, <clears throat> yeah, that actually did help. But um, on the bad side, it really, really, really flakes your skin. <clears throat> it's um it's extreme dry skin all over your nipples all over your like breasticles you know mate i can deal with having a bit of dry skin for a bit if it's going to get rid of my gyno like for sure don't worry about that the other side effect is it does have a bit of a systemic effect um i hear that that dsmo goes into the bloodstream man and um basically it's like I was lying awake at night trying to get to sleep and I was, oh, could you go and fetch? And I was aware of this uh, intracranial pressure. I was aware of um, like kind of like slight heart palpitations and stuff, only very mild, nowhere near as strong as when I took a very small quantity orally. But still, I, it still goes a bit systemic and if the gyno was like right on the skin, yeah, I think it would work fine. As it's underneath the skin, separated by like a layer of fat and everything, mm, I don't think it has as strong of an effect. <clears throat> I wonder if you can just inject it straight into the glands, shrivel it up. <clears throat> That's the next experiment. <laughs> um, just mix it with some bacteriostatic water, which I have. Hmm. Um, anyway. Um, that is my review of raloxifene bought from a factory in China. Um, it was generally quite a negative experience, but it did get the job done. I'm not going to continue with this treatment um, unless I have to, uh, not for, not right now. Um, once I'm getting some gyno symptoms, let's see, maybe try more transdermal applications, maybe just around the nipple and um, 
Let's see if that works. But um, I hope you've enjoyed watching me test out this random stuff on myself. And um, yeah, I hope you found it useful. Have an awesome day. Peace.